Rutherford, New Jersey. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Carolina Panthers and the New York Giants. Time Panther Graham Gano has his set for his start as we are underway from MetLife Stadium. On the return, here comes Smith out of the end zone. Well, now how about this return? And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. Okay, right. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Walker looking to throw it right away. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. We'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Now Walker. Over the middle, that's complete to McCaffrey. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 11 yards and a Panther first down. They're working out of the gun here, Walker. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Here's Christian McCaffrey. His pops was a giant for three years. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. 14 yards, good for a Panther first down. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice scoring run there that keeps them advancing the ball. Second and five now. Walker. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Kayvon Thibodeau beat the old line and recorded the sack. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. To throw is Walker. He'll find his man, LaVisca Chanel. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 24-yard line. 21 yards there on third down. That's his first catch of the game and an impressive one against multiple defenders. And how about that start? Really aggressive. Yeah, there was double coverage out there, but that didn't stop them. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. <laughs> Throwing on second and long. Walker. Oh, that's in the double coverage and intercepted. Picked off by Xavier McKinney. And the Giants are going to get possession here as they force the opening drive turnover. That right there is the inauspicious start that they were hoping to avoid in a turnover on the first possession. I love how you use those college-bound words like that, inauspicious. Well done. I really appreciate that. Thank but here's the thing for me. I'm just wondering if their game plan is incorrect. You know, I think they felt like they could come in and throw it around pretty well. That interception early, they may rethink how they go about attacking. Big Derek Brown making the stop. From the 35 on second down, Jones has this complete to Daniel Bellinger. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, 
tight ends know that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. And he'll get across midfield and into Carolina territory. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Call it a loss of 14 on the play, and they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. No score after one on EA Sports. task ahead of him here needing a full 15 yards to move the chains now on third and long they'll look to throw and that's going to be too high out of bounds and incomplete that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage but what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move Defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line, absolutely ideal. Yeah, from that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five, superb. out there and ready to begin their next drive. Remember last time out they threw the interception on their first drive. Good news, their defense backed them up so it's still 0-0 here as they begin their second possession. Yeah, one great way to judge a defense. How do they handle what we call sudden change when all of a sudden, you know, it goes against their offense and they have to run out in the field and try and put out the fire. Give this one great kudos for getting out there and not letting that interception lead to points. Excellent job by them defensively. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Here's Walker. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. And a tough turnover there as now they will have it at the six-yard line first and goal. After that play, I think we know one quarterback will be extremely happy if his defense can hold the opposing team to a field goal here. Jones now, following the fumble recovery, he'll throw. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. Daniel Bellinger from six yards away. And the Giants post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Gano the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Out of the end zone comes Smith. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man when in coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. 
So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Off the play fake, Walker. He's got a man, it's his fullback. Finding space at the 40, and past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. Hold on a second, was that the fullback? That was the fullback. Who says that the slot receivers are the only guys who can catch the football and get big yardage after the catch? Really nice job there, showing good hands and an ability to get upfield. Let's go. On first and 10, Walker. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. And he'll get about three here up to the 44-yard line. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? To throw is Walker. Got his man, Robbie Anderson. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Walker. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Now Walker. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. of three on a sack made by multiple defenders. So that now four first half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's the game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock here? We just got to do ball control. This is the NFL. 7-0 leads, they don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. Throwing, Jones. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. Different pass rushes are designed for different things. Sometimes you want to keep the quarterback in the pocket. Sometimes you want him to flush. I don't know exactly how this one was designed, but they made sure they moved him to his right. He got out of the pocket. Unfortunately for him, he was hit as he tried to throw the ball, and that resulted in an incompletion. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. the middle with Barkley. Yeah, he appears to be about two feet short on third and three. Leaves him with a fourth and one. They'll run for it with Barkley. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. Pass caught. It's Galladay on the out route. And that's good for a pickup of ten yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Now Jones. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Daniel Bellinger. 
A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Giants will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. On the return, here comes Smith out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They're certainly in need of some kind of points here before the end of the half. A field goal or something being shut out right now. They could really use some momentum before they head into halftime. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. The Walker now to throw on first down. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Well, this is a half where not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Walker now. Looking for Thomas, but that's intercepted. Picked off by the USC man, Adore Jackson. And a potential turning point as he'll get the football in very good field position late in this first half. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Operating from the gun, Jones. They'll get this complete to Kadarius Tony. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. down line at the 34 here on third down. Oh, and that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Second half ready to get rolling. The Giants with a lead, and they are set to receive this kick. Here comes Darius Slayton from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled into 20. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. Here's a run on first down that won't even get back to the line of scrimmage. He will lose a yard, second and 11. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it was just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But it looks like they're ready to go. Throw left side, complete to Tony. 
They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Here's Jones on third down. Oh, trying to fit it into Shepard, but it's intercepted. And Xavier Woods with a pick. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Well, pretty much everything went their way offensively in the first half, but now an interception on the opening drive of the third quarter. As we know, the key to everything here, don't get careless with the football. The problem is you've got to stay aggressive as well. So where's the line between being aggressive and attacking and being overly aggressive? I think they just crossed it on that one. First down, Walker. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. From the shotgun, it's Walker. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. When in doubt, do it yourself as he keeps it for three and a first down. It was starting to become a game for him to forget with the interceptions, but that's a step in the right direction. Not only did he choose to run it instead, but he saw the field well and made a nice pickup to get a new set. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Christian McCaffrey taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Panthers have cut it back within a score. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And that'll make our score 14 to 7. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter, despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now they'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 60 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. At halftime, you have to feel like the defense had to be in a good position. They had to feel good about themselves. They'd had this guy boxed in all game long, but after that run, that might be the breakthrough that he's looking for. Now they may have some difficulty dealing with him the rest of today. 10 yards, good for a giant first down. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit. You stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, now you've stopped the clock and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving and keep grinding the clock. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Throw left side, taken in by Galladay. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll be fourth down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch it. They'll run with Barkley, and nowhere to go. He's going to be stopped behind the line. Saquon Barkley denied on fourth down, and the Panthers will get the football back. So that's a decision that could loom pretty large here. They go for it on fourth down, but come up empty. But I actually like the call, and the reason? It shows me a head coach has faith in his team overall. First on the offensive side, thinking they can pick it up but also knowing that he has faith in his defense that if they don't, they'll go out there and stop him. I like the confidence he showed. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. 
Oh, an absolutely filthy juke. He's got some space now. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. That good for 19 and a first down. I tell you, they didn't give it to him much for the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. Man, I'm not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have his few kicks. Oh, no, he lost the football. Wow, that one is not free. But a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line, unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away. Facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. This is Chenault on the receiving end. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that's going to make it fourth down. They'll run for it. McCaffrey. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. A first down throw for Walker. He right, forces one there. It's a potential dagger as it's intercepted. Picked up by Kayvon Thibodeau. And the Giants are going to have the football here at their own 18-yard line. Brandon, offensively, this has been a tough day for him. Trying to find a place to throw the football. It's been extremely difficult. I've got to give a lot of credit to the secondary, especially the corners, who have had the receivers on lockdown. Now Jones on first down. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it, and the Panthers are right back in this football game. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. The interception sets them up with an opportunity to erase this fourth quarter deficit, and this series could very well determine our outcome. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. Back to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Now the Panthers are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. That's going to be caught. It's Chanel. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. That's exactly what they were looking for. If they get another game like that, they'll be right there in field goal range. And the tension building. Walker looking to throw on fourth down. And Thomas has it. He's got room at the 30. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. He'll look to throw. And he'll throw this one away. But I don't think he was out of the pocket. No, here comes the flag. Yeah, he hadn't gotten far enough away from the pocket to throw that football away, and that draws the flag. Yeah, the old tackle box, right? Get outside of each tackle, and then you can go ahead and throw it away, and you're in good shape. But if you're back there in the pocket, you got to make sure of what you're doing. Well, a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. 
McCaffrey running up the middle. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to about the 19. They get 12 yards back, but it still leads to a fourth and long. They still got two timeouts. Got to start using them, don't they? You absolutely have to. You save them for this situation, but you have to use them. The Panthers are going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. Fourth down, Walker. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. So they've converted their first two fourth down attempts. Not the 